Welcome everyone, the first step to customize your lock screen is from the home screen. I want you to swipe down from the very top and from here you're going to long press on the empty space and now we can see all of our lock screens. If you only have one, you'll just see one and you can swipe to the left and right to view all of your lock screens. To create a new lock screen, you have the plus button here and you can swipe across and tap the plus button there or you can customize your existing lock screen by just tapping on the customize. For this video, I'm going to create a new lock screen. So let's tap on the plus and from here we can select a wallpaper. So if you scroll around and swipe across, you can see all of these default wallpapers here. You will notice the wallpapers uh, which you saw in the older software, a lot of them are gone and replaced with these newer ones. You can also select, you see at the top, the ability to use your photos. So I'm going to select a picture of my face now. Uh, once you have selected a picture, we can now customize. So remember, we need to customize for both landscape and portrait mode. And so the first thing you're going to notice is if you select a picture where there's a clear foreground and the background, the foreground may go on top of the clock. You can see right here. And that is called the death effect. You will need an iPad with the A12 processor or newer to have death effect. Otherwise, it will just be off. You can tap the triple dots to turn this one on or off at any time. You can use two fingers to pinch in and out to reposition. You can swipe to the left and right to change the filters. Uh, make sure you do the same for portrait mode as well. So let's go into portrait and you may need to turn off rotation lock and then portrait mode. Make sure you reposition the face as well if you want that death effect. So I'm just going to reposition there. And so we can also tap on the clock and we can change the font of the clock, the size, and we can change the color and the intensity of that color. We can change the widgets which are at the top. So it's going to show the date here. Maybe we want the time. Boom. Even though it already shows the time, but let's have it again. Uh, maybe we want the weather. And so you can just select what's going to show to the right. Then we have the widgets. So with the iPad, only in landscape mode, you can have widgets on the side here. So I just add them. Boom. There we go. And of course, you can go through, go to, to each app. Uh, that's not a phone number you need to worry about. But um, we can just go in, just add whatever we want. If I go to the portrait mode, you can see the widgets, they have completely disappeared. They will not show up in landscape mode only. And once we are happy, we're going to tap on add and it's going to save. So we've now created the lock screen, but we need to create the home screen. So if you set as wallpaper pair, it's going to use the same wallpaper for your lock screen and your home screen. If we customize home screen, we can change whether we have the default, we have a individual color, and you can tap again to customize this, a gradient of colors, and you can tap again to customize, or your own custom photo. Let's say this one here. Let me know in the comments if you know where this photo was taken from. And you have the similar customization as earlier. And you can tap on done when you're ready. Done again. And if we tap on the wallpaper, the video's not done just yet, but you can see you have the lock screen. Look how that lovely jawline. And then we have the home screen right here. And if we swipe down from the home screen at any time, we can long press like this 
Now we can swipe across and then tap to switch wallpapers. If you do use the focus modes, if you head to the focus area of setting and select your focus mode, you can change which lock screen will be used based on the focus you are using. So if you turn on the do not disturb, maybe you just want a different lock screen. So you can switch like that and it's linked. And so you can see here if the swipe works, there we go. So I'm going to switch to this lock screen of meat. And then I'm going to turn on the do not disturb and you can see immediately it will change the wallpaper. Something useful, if you find it useful, I personally don't use it. Uh, with that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.